Hey there! Haven't seen you in a while. Sorry. Anyways, I'm gonna criticize you just a little bit. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. Hey guys, Spider Games here. I'm going to show you how to do three legendary farming methods correctly that a lot of people don't do correctly. Uh, one of them is One Violent Knight. People want to just rush to the main boss, which is a low-level uh, legendary. Um, also, I want to show you how to do hordes correctly. And I got some ideas on how to farm the legendary vendor properly. So, uh, yeah, let's just dive right into this. First, let's do hordes. Here's a super mutant horde, which is perfect. I can get some high level gear out of this. Even though it's in the mire, it's gonna be low level, you know, probably level 25 or 35. It just so happens to be a level 35, two star legendary. Um, what I wanna do here is just get a couple hits on them and then retreat. Fucking 76 again, I can't. Fuck. Dramatic fade in is dramatic. Anyways, it's actually a good thing that I was sent to 76 because when I came back, a legendary spawned right in front of me, which is awesome. And that's what happens with these hordes, and it's a level 68. If you're a high level, you're going to get high levels spawning in, and they spawn in around the uh, boss that you need to kill to finish the horde event. Which you don't want to do. You want to keep the boss alive for as long as possible. Even if it isn't legendary, um, as long as you kill his minions, there's a good chance for a legendary to pop up. And, uh, yeah, I'm gonna show you right here. I'm just whacking these guys off here and there. You keep killing these guys. That way, you know, there's an uh, open slot. And hopefully a legendary can slide right in there. Um, sometimes there's some interference. But the thing you're hoping for is a player to not show up and fuck everything up like what's happening now please don't kill the legendary he's a level 35 you're a high enough level to know not to you kill them look at him so excited he's like what I get <laughs> it's level 35 dude doesn't matter shit but anyways hopefully this video helps even though my channel's kind of dead right now hey there just a quick tippy tip if you see a glowing legendary and it doesn't show any stars yet, don't shoot it or else you won't get any legendaries off of them. You're welcome. One Violent Knight is my favorite event because I can get up to six high level legendaries here. Now it's located at Sons of Dane Compound. You have to discover this location first and then you'll just see it pop up on the map sometimes. Uh, like it shows like one of these symbols here Ew, uranium fever that's gross but uh, yeah here's me doing it wrong I just turn on the machine and I charge through it without stopping the machine which is stupid I only got one legendary out of it and uh, I didn't know any better but uh yeah uh, here's the boss that everybody loves to get to and it's dead just like that and uh, very easy nail biter anyways let's do this right this time I'm going to activate the machine. One thing you got to know about the machine is you can't just activate it and then deactivate it for too long. Uh, it'll degress. I'll show you that in a little bit. But we need to fill this up to at least one third. That's when you hear your first growl. That's what it sounds like. You'll see the screen gets all weird. But there's this guy explaining to him what we're doing and he understood perfectly. I love it when people understand. Uh, so now we're farming. But uh, we haven't seen any legendaries yet, and it isn't until the two-thirds mark when the Night Stalker growls again, that's when we start seeing the legendaries. I've been noticing that lately. Usually you see legendaries all throughout, but for some reason, um, only after the two-thirds mark have I been seeing legendaries. But anyways, we have lots of time, over 20 minutes. We should see lots of legendaries. We've already seen our first one. This is good for just regular looting. Now, make sure to turn the machine on and off and on and off. You don't want it to stay off for too long or else it will degress. So, uh, we're just kind of chilling. Sometimes the waves of enemies don't come for a while. 
But uh, that was our second legendary. But here's what the digression looks like. That's only after a couple of minutes of neglect. So make sure that you're activating it, deactivating it. Who the fuck is this? Where's Nick? Hopefully this guy can get on the same page as me uh, quickly. Because there's 15 minutes left and he's going to play the drums. Uh, as you can see... Uh, this isn't live commentary, but I was pleading with this guy. Can you please stop playing the drums? You see that in the bottom left corner? I was like, can you just stop? If somebody's doing this, by the way, just let the ghoul smack him. He'll smack him off. If he tries to activate the machine, deactivate the machine. Hopefully they'll leave. Uh, but uh, basically it's in your control as long as the ghouls come. Sometimes, uh, like I said, you won't see a wave of ghouls forever, it seems. But uh, yeah, this guy... He finally sees a legendary. I think he's got the idea now. We want to let the time go. Don't play any music. Done fighting up oh, fucking never mind. He's playing a goddamn banjo now. God damn it. Wrestling with this guy turning off the machine. He's turning it on. I'm turning it off constantly. Ugh. Hate it when people don't understand even though I explain it to them. Come on, man. 8 more minutes. We can get two more legendaries and then the low level legendary. Doesn't that sound good? Couple more three star high level legendaries. Ha! <laughs> uh, that was me explaining it to him in real time. That was like live commentary, but as you can see, he's just confused now. He's just goddamn confused. I miss Nick. Where's Nick? Why did Nick leave? Who knows? But uh, yeah, here's the boss, the big battle that everybody loves to rush to get to. Uh, for God knows why, he's level three. Uh, 42 which means the highest of uh, level item you can get off him is 40 but uh, yeah uh, kill him instantly and that's that thrilling now super serial the new legendary vendor that we all know about and we hate so far um, I believe that we are actually using it wrong some people are getting good stuff most of us are getting bad stuff and I see a pattern here. I don't know if you noticed, but I got two pump action shotguns in a row, which makes me think that the legendary vendor follows the same rules as regular legendaries in the world. So let me explain. Usually when I find a weapon like the light machine gun, I will keep finding that weapon, especially with the light machine gun. It's like when I find one, I keep finding them. The other day, I kept finding lever action weapons. It was, you know, annoying. But uh, it was cool, I got an anti-armor explosive one, which uh, I got something pretty cool in return. But I'm showing you um, the encrypting event because, as you just saw, I picked up an unyielding piece of armor. And I was actually getting good gear at this time. Now, even though this is RNG and I'm going to get shit for the next stuff I have to say, um, it's RNG, it's supposed to just be flat out, random, luck. But if you've been farming legendaries as long as I've been farming them, uh, you'll know that sometimes you get really good stuff, uh, other times you get medium stuff, but most of the time you're just going to get crap armor and melee weapons that don't have any good prefixes. And that's what I want to concentrate most on when it comes to the vendor. I'm going to do an experiment. First, on one of my characters, I'm going to server hop. So I'm going to turn in script, server hop, turn in script, server hop. Uh, this is for a future video, by the way. But with my other character, I'm going to wait until I'm getting really good gear. I'm going to have a thousand scripts saved up. And uh, I want to wait until I'm getting the bloody prefix. Because just like weapons, you're going to start getting like the same prefixes. Um, I'm also showing you this because um, I happen to be getting the imposter outfit with my unyielding gear. That's another thing I noticed with this event, when you get the imposter outfit, or imposter helmet, whatever, uh, you seem to get good gear like the light machine gun. Same thing with the light machine gun. Whenever I get a light machine gun, I automatically know that I'm getting good stuff, but that's an experiment for the future. I think that's the right way to actually, um, you know, farm the vendor. So as you know, when you pick up a black powder rifle or a dragon, you're going to be picking up other black powder stuff. Um, just like I said, there is a little pattern. It's not strictly RNG. I'm going to get shit for that, but whatever. I hope you found this helpful. I hope you found this informative. Subscribe for future videos. I am going to be doing that long ass uh, legendary uh, farming series. But yeah, guys, like the video if it helped. 
Thanks for watching. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Yeah, uh, let the clock run a little bit so that we get the high level legendaries, please, Warson. Could you stop playing the music? Fucking 76 again. I can't. Fuck! How'd that look?